Hi, uh, good morning and good evening to everyone. You are watching Mainframe Videos Cobol Tutorial 6. So, in this video, we would be talking about or you would be knowing about the very important statement called perform or a paragraph. So, so far we have uh, seen uh, different kinds of statements or different kinds of uh, instructions uh, we d we follow in a COBOL program like uh, what are the different level numbers, how do we assign our data, data names, what is the importance of move, uh, the difference modification, con deconcatenation, string and unstring, evaluate and 88 level numbers. So ne now, as of now, we got to know the importance of each and every statements in the COBOL program. Now we are going to in into a deeper uh, section or the deeper things where where you uh, you would be knowing more about these things. What is about the perform? What is inline perform? What are outline perform? Uh, perform times, perform until, and perform varying. What is the difference between inline and outline perform? So let's go ahead and start with the perform. So as we know that procedure division consists of paragraphs and paragraphs are reasonable components which contains sentence and statements. Paragraph names are defined names and must be formed with the rules same as uh, data names. Paragraphs are always defined in eighth column where divisions and sections are defined. So why I'm saying uh, the performs Perform is very important when you go uh, for a COBOL programmer is you have a set of statements where you have to repeat the statements at twice or more than twice. So instead of repeating the same statement twice, you can declare a paragraph and you can call that paragraph how many times you want. So instead of it can reduce the complexity of the programs. Yes. I can tell you the what are the important points uh, that shows why we use perform statement perform perform will be very much useful when you want to execute a set of statements in multiple places of the program yes writing all the statements in one paragraph and invoke it using perform whenever needed once the paragraph is executed the control will come back to the next statement following the perform these are used to simplify the complex functionality. So as I said earlier, so you have a code where you wanted to add it multiple times. You want to repeat the statement multiple times. For example, I have a file, I have a file where it contains a thousand records. Each record has the transaction information. It means I'm wanted to calculate the transactions of a particular month from day 1 to day 30th for example I'm saying like I have around 100 records so consider this is a flat file record where you have a day to day transaction on the first day it was the transaction made of 100 and uh, second day 200 300 and the fourth the, the day 500 and the seventh the day 700 and uh, so on in the same way for the second record you might have paid 5 6 then 100 then 700 then 6 and the same way for third record you might have made 555 777 where is it is separated by space so what my scope is of uh, what I want, what my requirement is, you need to read each record, do a addition of each record and uh, place it in a, a different file. So, what is the functionality? What is the main theme over here is read and do an addition. So, what we can do, there are two ways. Re uh, after reading each record, give a statement. I um, mean do a statement called a plus b plus c plus d or something so 
I into this read a second record, then a plus b plus c plus d plus I mean e plus e f plus g plus h or some other thing. You need to define the variables and you have to do calculations and everything. So instead of writing repeating that statement multiple times, you have to declare a paragraph and where you uh, you can call that paragraph multiple times. So that is the main important. By this, it reduces the complexity and the functionality. It helps the application programmer to modularize when the program. Of course, it can be used for more reusability. The same thing which we discussed. We can call the perform paragraphs either forward or a backward. Anyway, you can call it. You have a thousand lines of code. Uh, you are into a procedure division. In the procedure division, first thing is you are calling a paragraph and. Uh, you have a set of statements, a uh, set of instructions, then you are calling a paragraph which is on the top. So either you can call a forward or a backward statements or a ba backward paragraphs. For a better programming or efficient programming, the control should always be a transferred forward. So let's see a simple example of the perform. Simple perform is a perform para one and uh, display para1 execute a stop run the para1 is uh, having two statements the, the control first comes to here and it goes back again then it gets executed then stop run so it executes all the instructions coded in paragraph 1 and transfer the control back to the next function and in sequence you can see how simple is it right so this is the way we code a program in day to day life or the in an in the real time so with this I'm going to conclude this video and I would uh, in my next session I would be uh, going through this inline perform outline perform perform times until varying and what are the difference between inline and outline perform so thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed this video have a good day and have a great evening